Hello my friends, in this video I will play with solar equipment but like always I will add my touch to this setup I will use M5 stack dial to measure voltage using this voltage meter module and I will send this data remotely to this LiliGo T display S3. I will send data using ESP now. Basically this is remote voltage monitor for my solar battery. This is second version of my remote voltage monitor, improved version. I already use these to, to monitor my <laughs> solar setup and I ended with a dead battery and with dead M5 dial. In this video we will learn how not to be stupid like me, how not to destroy it battery, how not to destroy ESP32 device, what are good boards to use with solar power systems or with solar batteries and what are problems and like always I will share my code for both these devices so you can make your solar monitor yourself. I destroyed my old battery but lead time company offered me to try their battery and I accepted and they were also nice to send me this 1000 watt inverter. Lead time is sponsor of this video, they have been in this business for a long time, right now they are celebrating day 15 anniversary, so prices will be very nice next couple of days. Their speciality is batteries, but on their site you can find other equipment like inverters, solar charge controllers and so on. Feel free to check their site, links are in the description. In description you can also find code for additional discount. Mm -hmm. I think it's 6%. So here is my small solar power system. I have small 60 watts panel, which is in reality is 20 watts panel. Don't believe it everything on Aliexpress. Here is my old charge controller. It is basic and cheap but it will get job done. And yes I know I will need new one. And here is 20 volts 100 amp hours battery. I like this battery because it is much lighter than my old one. Lead acid batteries can be very heavy, even small like this one. It can be fully charged and uh, discharged 4000 times and there is 10 years warranty on this battery. Main task for this setup is to keep this battery fully charged. So in case of power outage, I can use my 1000 watt inverter to convert this 12 volts to AC and to run my pellet stove lights, charge my laptop, phone. And another task for this setup is to make me busy, entertain and to teach me something. I don't want to just put this outside, I want to play with it, I want to be able to monitor voltage to measure how setup behaves in different light, light conditions. I will not use this panel, I actually ordered two 55 watts solar panels but 
shipping is the light for some reason. My plan is to experiment with them. I will try to connect them in series, in parallel, to see which is better. In which case better will, will recharge longer. So I will pay, but I hope I will learn something. And I will hope I will always have a backup power source. So how I destroyed old battery? To destroy the battery you need to discharge it beyond some level. This guy and this guy were able to discharge old battery in just a few months because solar panel was not properly connected and I forgot to monitor voltage because I accidentally destroyed this, let's call it receiver part by connecting that's why i'm now using <laughs> lilygo board i destroyed this by connecting it to my laptop charger my laptop also has a usb c port for charging but voltage in that adapter is way higher than 5 volts so when powering your boards with the adapter make sure it is 5 volt adapter not some fast charge some boards can handle it so in second version, in second version, I tried to minimize power consumption as many I can, because you, as you know, ESP32 is power hungry, and so this sensor. So I made a slipping option. I will co I will connect my connect my voltmeter module and we can see that voltage is 13.80 and value can be shown here this I will put in my house I need to increase brightness because we are outside and you will see this blue line which indicates when board will go to sleep so how this work when I touch something board will not go to sleep if I leave it for 10 seconds to save some power board will go to sleep but after a one minute board will wake up just to send data to other board because it can't send data while it's sleeping. But if I want to check it manually, if I, I need to near near the battery, I can wake up board using this. On this side of board, you can see percentage of battery. Actually, with the battery, I received very nice product manual, user manual. And I use this chart to calculate percentage of this battery. And I almost forgot to say, I use this board because it can be powered directly from 12 volts. So, yes, it can be powered from 7 to I think 24 or, or even 36 volts. That's why I decide to use that that board for my solar setup because I can power it directly from my battery. So point of all this project is to monitor battery voltage but in same time to save power. So I'd, I added that sleep function because ESP is really hungry and so this voltage meter. So let's test how hungry is it. And you know that I'll connect my meter. You know that 
ESP now also needs lots of power. Three point twenty one volts. So battery charge. And here is it. While board is awake, setups use one point three watts. And now we will leave it to go to sleep. And now board is sleeping and we are using 0 0.56 watts. I will wake it up. I will connect my voltmeter to battery to check are these value same the hmm. close and that's it tell me what you think i hope you will learn something useful today this can be this video maybe can be start for you to enter this hobby because this is nice hobby feel free to check code feel free to build these two and yes there is also one thing I can also make to reduce power consumption I can power it with this output because this uh, this solar charger have timer so I can probably make it to work only at day hmm. or opposite or I can put some kind of relay here on power line so when board is sleeping before it goes to sleep it turns off this there is many options like I said time to play.